The pieces of the puzzle are falling together. And the big picture is horrifying and unbelievable. I will tell the others about this. But I still can't make myself believe it. The Reds have infected Oktyabraskaya. A peaceful station denizens of which never suspected anything. With an unknown deadly virus. And then their mop-up squads entered it under the pretense of saving the station from the epidemic. And eliminated everyone they could. Women, children, old people. To prevent the infection from spreading. And if all this is true, then me and Anna could be infected too. We've been saved from being killed, but we don't know if we're going to survive for long. I have a feeling that everything will end soon. We won't survive this war, Artyom. No one will. I feel alone again, like when I was a girl and father was away on a mission. Nothing around me, empty and cold, as if I were just a spark from the fire flying away and then gone. It's hard for me to tell you these things, Artyom, but I want to feel that I'm alive. Touch me. Well, there seems to be nothing wrong with you. Congratulations, youngsters. You, Archie, may go. While you, Anna, you have to stay some more. We need to finish treating your wound. Thank God. Well, what are you waiting for? Go! Go, Artyom. I'll find you as soon as they finish patching me up. Go, Artyom. I have no medical necessity to keep you here, and I have a lot of work to do. Really, Artyom, you should go. I won't stay here for too Come long. Come here, darling. Don't look there. What's that, Papa? Who's there? Nothing. You see the face? It's all right. Just As if look. Looks like eight books. <laughs> yes, it's eight. Simetsky. Yuri. Oh! Ah! Oh! Hey! Anybody? Somebody! Hey! That's my plan. You're not going to get away with this. I'm completely guilty. Stand here, it's dangerous. Huh? You can take him away at least. Are you trying to insult me or what? What do I do now? Hey! What do I do, doctor? Well, you know the prospect as well as I. I know, I know, but still. You were instructed on the safety precautions. On the gloves, on the mask. You signed the papers. They're killers. Not doctors. Yes, I did. Hey, but the kids. Anybody? How was I supposed to talk to them with a the mask on? They were scared. They were crying. Yes, but you didn't save them, and you doomed yourself. We're short on people as it is, Pridurak. You could have helped so many. Yes. Yes, I, I could. All right. We'll start the symptomatic treatment and see where it takes us. A mild form has cropped up lately. There are even some cases of recovery. Let's be optimistic. You can't go into the board. Go through the lab. Let me go. I'm healthy. And they keep coughing. Don't stand in the way, please. So, I don't have to remind you about the gloves and the mask. Yes, I know that. Perfect. Now, 
You take the temperature every hour. Blood samples every three hours. Call me at once should any parameters deviate from the pattern. Of course. You see, there's only been two cases with good prospects so far. We must study them carefully. Yes, I understand. Great. They've been told to handle their stuff, and yet look at all this shit. Well, what's there to do? They got off easy, but we got to pack all that. Yeah, and what's the point, huh? Should just burn it with the corpses and be done with it. They say it's to find the source of infection. Bullshit, if you ask me. No way to do that now. Well, those at the top know better. Huh? The guard room is that way. He's not safe here. Please go. So, is the epidemic slowing down? Looks like it, but let's check the facts. What do we know? First of all, the new samples all show acute monocytosis. True. Samples 317 to 323. Monocytosis. Yet we already know the virus targets monocytes specifically. It always did. All the previous samples only have neutrophils of the nucleus. This can only mean one thing. This strain is becoming less virulent. But let's not rush to conclusions. We'll check the rest first. So, were you able to isolate the agent? Yes, and You can't no. go in there. It's a high danger zone. Virus. Trying to cultivate it is useless. It's basically non-virulent. Without the original stuff. Doctor, you know I'm no man. Please explain. Uh, I'm sorry, Captain. Here are the facts. In the first two days, the mortality rate was around 95%. In the third, it dropped to about 25%. Today, we only have two new infected, and they have a light infection, prospects of recovery looking promising. Now, as you understand, Moscow never was a natural habitat for this virus, and in its wild form, it remains dangerous much more. So, what does all this mean? It is not a regular virus. It's a weapons-grade strain, engineered to achieve maximum lethality within a short time, and then, Turn harmless. Damnation. Where did it come from? I have heard of a new generation of bioweapons based on this virus being developed before the war. But where did it surface from now, after all these years? Bioweapons. My God. Just in case, I have some readers' questions. One of them could have brought this surprise from the past to the middle. Oh, oh. 
can't stay here. Doesn't look like it. They concentrate their forces at the Reich border. I are too. Let's stop spreading the guard now. A demonstration of force? Who needs Spartan now when the Reds are solving all the problems? Could be so. Sure thing. They won't be able to replace us completely. But putting some pressure on their superiors, that they could do. Well, let's leave and see. Damn right. Hi, Artyom. Can't talk now. About in a couple of hours. The refugees sure were lucky, because Tomlin's rangers were here. Corbett's men clearly didn't expect we met the machine. Just passing by, are you? Of course. What were you thinking? Hansa could not protect the station without help, but they did provide shelter for the refugees and the hospital. Perhaps that could help them. They could have just shot us. Hello, Ranger. Look. Sergeant, can't you tell us what's happening there? They don't let us check. And the rumors. Quarantine is no fun and games, as you understand. There have been some casualties. The medics are doing their best. Thank you for defending well, us. Well, let's hope this is enough. And here, what should we do? Let's hope. And you should work just as usual, and take the rumors with a grain of salt. Thank you. I see. That was damn fine work, driving the Reds away. Thank you. What papers? Yours. Passport. It was in the bag, and they burned it. Ah. Who can confirm your identity? They're all dead. Dead. The kids the day before yesterday. Wife. Yesterday. I alone survived. Alone. But how can I let you through without identification? But I'm me! Yes, and I am myself, but where's your proof? What am I to do? Your station was small. Look for somebody with papers who knows you. But they're all dead! Or quarantine! Wait then! For how long? I can't help you otherwise. This part of the station is off limits now for outsiders, even for the Rangers. What prevented you if you're so smart? Thanks for your help, Ranger! Sorry, that's forbidden without the permit. That's our mail. Let this one through. We got the permit. I 
think you should stock up on filters and ammo, Artyom. Yeah. We probably won't have such a chance anytime soon after this. Well, we sure got lucky in the Rangers from here. Why did they fight anyway? What do they care for us or the refugees? That's what puzzles me. Where's the profit? Nobody signed any contracts with them. We didn't even promise anything. What were they thinking? Nothing. It's their job. The Polish Rangers were doing stuff like this from the very beginning. What? Fighting the Reds? Nah, if there's an epidemic, dangerous mutants, anything, then Polis sends the Spartans to handle this situation. And what's up now? They came because of the epidemic, but we already set up the quarantine and the Reds cleared out the source. So they helped us out so that the Reds don't get too enthusiastic. And what's the profit Polis is making here? They're far from here, the epidemic wouldn't reach them. The states had that arranged long ago. Police handle stuff like this, and nobody touches them. They're neutral. They also handle negotiations if there's a war or shit like that. Ah, I get it now. I see. Don't start a war, but benefit from the results. Yes, that's good business. Sure, but we're not doing commerce to make a loss either. Come here, Ranger! I got great weapons! You can buy without a second thought. You won't find cheap. You don't have enough space. Come again. Hey, Ranger. Have us some ammo. Artyom, take note of the funds Hanser expends on this quarantine. And they are generally quite reserved with their money. Perhaps they are aiming Attention for an the additional platform. Trump card to use in the negotiations at Polis. Good luck in the tunnels, Ranger! <laughs> 